found it. Like launch it in the air and I'll grab it. Okay. You ready? Go. Oh that look. <laughs> This episode of Fishing Girls! What fish studies medicine? Surgeon fish. Where do fish keep their money? The riverbank. What did the beach say to the ocean? Nothing. They just waved. How do fish get high? Seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Fish and Grills. And we haven't done an episode in a while. We've been a little busy this winter trying to help expand Fish and Grills. We got a lot of things planned for the future, so be sure to stick around. So as you can see here, we'll be targeting the Munu, part of the goat fish family and a delicious fried fish, which is exactly what we're about to do. So of course, you know how it goes. We're gonna chop it up. Give it some scores. That slits in the meat to help it cook evenly. And add some of our favorite La Morena seasoning. There's something truly special about fresh fried fish that just can't be beat. It's a dish that's been enjoyed for centuries and for good reason. For starters, fresh fish is full of flavor. It has a natural sweetness that can't be replicated by frozen or processed fish. It's really obvious that you're popping. <laughs> <laughs> <Act> normal. <laughs> Do it normal. Do it like a human. <laughs> when you fry it up, the flavor becomes even more pronounced. The crispy outer layer complements the tender and juicy flesh inside, making for a perfect balance of textures. But it's not just about the taste. Fresh fried fish is also incredibly healthy. Fish is packed with protein, vitamins, and minerals that are essential for our body. When you fry it up, you're not losing any of the nutrients. In fact, you're retaining them. And let's not forget about the sheer joy that comes with eating fresh fried fish with friends. Try to say that fast. It's a dish that brings people together, whether it's family dinner or beachside cookout. What a steam! <laughs> There's something about the smell and the taste of fresh Ooh, fish uh -huh. that just puts a smile on everyone's face. If you eat it from the side, you don't have to worry about it. Pull the strip off and eat it. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I need more. Ooh, steamers. What is steaming? And see. So for our next fish dish, we're gonna do a hoggy stir fry. The hoggy is also known as a trigger fish, which sadly is one of the most least desirable fish on the islands. But trigger fish around the world, in some places, is a delicacy. And we believe it's just how you cook it up. It can be made delicious. This is also one of the easiest fish to shoot on our reefs. 
They're slow and abundant, but they do have armored skin, so they can be a little bit tricky. These guys are like vampires. I remember one time we tried to string them up and one of them bit me. They got a mean bite. Watch out for that. I'm making stir fry with these nuggets. Nobody touch the nuggets. No Where is it? I'm hungry. <laughs> Check the temperature fast then. Oh yep. Working a walk it for magic. You can do that. Get the sauce. Probably like half that bowl side. Get it up. Yeah. Boy, boy. Woo. Bro, better than pandas. Let me tell you, bro. That looks good. Okay, it's not super. Spicy, right? That's why I eat all the fish before I eat. No, this, this one's nice. <laughs> Can't put a lot of sugar this one. You gotta get my meal before it becomes a meal. <laughs> <laughs> Fish. 
Real good. Real good. That's really good. Mm.